So the fuel scarcity is the last trump card to embarrass him because he is the city minister presiding over the petroleum industry. They will sap all the money that is left and indebt the country and make sure that when he's leaving in 2023, he will be so humiliated by the people he has brought in. You know, um, Buhari's government has a high concentration of those sabotaging it from within. And uh, up till now, he has not come to terms with what they are doing. Even the security situation, there is an internal sabotage within the government. It is the government that is fighting itself. So, they are sabotaging, those saboteurs within the system have been sabotaging. Now, this is, they have played their trump card. This one they played is the trump card. And it is intended to just demystify the personality, the charismatic uh, uh, attribute of press. So the full scarcity is the last trump card to embarrass him because he is the city minister presiding over the petroleum industry. They will sap all the money that is left and indebt the country and make sure that when he's leaving in 2023, he will be so humiliated by the people he has brought in to work with him that are not working for him and are working against him. There is nobody that will accept this explanation. Even in the forest where baboons are gathered within their government, they will not accept this explanation. But it's happening to the giant of Africa where we have a no-nonsense general who has records and has charisma, charisma presiding over the petroleum industry and contaminated petrol was imported into Nigeria. Where were the security at the points of entrance? Did they give him the specification of the petrol tested when it was imported before it was allowed to be distributed in Nigeria? Where is the report? I thought the president would have ordered for the immediate arrest of those at the point of entry who signed the report and gave a clean bill for this to be imported. And that they asked him to bring 270 something billion. That is what we call scam. So the political bandits in his government had already now kidnapped the government and they kidnapped the petroleum sector and they have taken it to the forest now. They are bargaining with the president to pay ransom of 270 something billion. I told him in 2019 when he was going to contest election. I won him. And I'm very happy that I'm alive and I've been vindicated. In 2016, I told him, in 2019, sorry, if you are going to contest election in 2019, you will win. But if you win the election, prepare for a serious war. And he asked me, oh, war? I said, yes. I said, you are going to be fought from all fronts and you will be reduced to a president of Asorok if you are not careful. I also advised him that if he wins in 2019, he must form a government of people who believe in him and believe in his charismatic leadership. And that those whom he appointed will have to fight and fight and fight and defend him. As, as they are fighting, they will also open the political space for him to have time to develop. This advice of mine went into deaf ears because they were bad advice. So the president had fallen a victim of this prophecy of mine. And I'm so happy that God has left me alive to see what I told him happening.